Hey guys, it's Sawyer, and this week's topics, topic, topics, I don't know, is cisnormativity and heteronormativity. So as a gay trans person, there's a lot I can say about these, but I'm just going to start getting some definitions out there so you know what we're talking about all week. Cisnormativity is the assumption that all or almost all individuals are cisgender, while heteronormativity is the belief that all people are heterosexual and that these two things is the normal state. And so from these things come homophobia and transphobia and this thing called gender essentialism, which is the idea that like men and women have inherent, unique, and natural abilities that qualify them as the separate genders. So these are based on the idea that like there is these biological and neuro neurological things that separate someone from being a man or a woman. So I'm trans, I'm gay, so I can easily be seen as wrong or messed up because of how I identify and because of who I am. I'm also autistic, so there is actually something neurologically wrong with me, and there is a greater percentage of trans people who have autism than there are in the general public, but they're not like, they're they're not correlated. I do think it takes a lot of courage for anyone to be themselves. So even if you are heterosexual and cisgender, just like the slightest difference in your personality can make it hard to not fall victim to these sort of things too. Homophobes, transphobic people, and like even people who claim to be allies mess up and they enforce these negative ideas. I mean, things as simple as saying like, boys will be boys, or more obviously, like, you throw like a girl, are like really loaded sentences that young people are like taught these ideas and taught gender essentialism, and it's sort of terrible. A woman can be masculine, a man can be feminine, women can be a breadwinner, and that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with them. Men can stay at home with their children, and that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with them. They're a parent, like, I mean, people can love whoever they want to love. A straight couple is no different than a lesbian couple or a gay couple. A straight guy who happens to be dating a trans woman that doesn't change his sexuality because her gender identity is not cisnormative. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, guys. I mean, it's not necessarily like your job to go out there and like wave signs and flyers, but like if you hear something, say something about it. Like, it's important not to enforce these stereotypes. It's important not to put anyone in a box. Not a trans person, not a non-binary person, not a cisgender person, not a gay person, or a straight person, or a bisexual person, or a pansexual I will see you guys next week. Bye! Well, I have to press the off button.